morning everyone, welcome to the Canadian Superbike Championships by Mopar. Welcome to the second round of the, of the Canadian Superbike Championships. We've taken time this morning to catch up with the winner of the Inside Motorcycles Amateur Sport Bike Championship race at Shannonville a couple of weeks back. His first national win, Philippe Massé. Philippe, thanks for taking the time to talk thanks. to us. And congratulations you. on your win. Thank you. It's been a long time coming. Uh, yeah, I gotta say, yeah. I started in the SV five years ago. And I had two years with SV, it was really, really fun. I went on the podium, never on the first step. Mm -hmm. And uh, my first time on 600, so I'm, yeah, it's fun. And not only did you win the race, but in, in, in doing so, now it's not always the winner that gets this prize, but in that race, you set the performer of the race. You were the guy that put, did the best performance as far as the media was concerned. And as a result of it, you got yourself some new yeah. undergear. From yeah, yeah, I was really surprised when I came back home. I, I look at the, the website at csbk.ca and I, I oh, I won that prize. I was really, I was proud. It was, it was fun. Yeah, I, I had a bad start a bit. And uh, I just worked my way through. It's like there is no way I'm gonna not be on the podium. There is no way I'm not gonna be on the first step. So I go. think this year it's my year. I, I thought I would be able to do that last year, but unfortunately I didn't have uh, the money and the time to do it. So this year it's it's the year. Those number needs to be black next year. Great on. Yeah. Shen, uh, we, we talked to Andrew Nelson about this yesterday as well, Philippe. After a person, and he had his first superbike win, as you'll remember. Yep. After a person has scored that first important win, it builds a certain inner fire that makes them desire to do to do better next time. Do you feel that fire? Oh yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah I, I feel it here, especially here. I've, I've did some track days on Monday and uh, on Thursday as well. And I feel comfortable with the track. Do you consider and, uh, this your home track? Or? Uh, I would say, yeah, I don't have a lot of real home track because I do some uh, some lessons at Track Fever. Okay. So this could be kind of my home track in a way. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is probably the closest thing that we can call a home track. So yeah, I've had some uh, good track time here. I'm pretty confident, and yeah, that's for sure. The the first win that you do will really give you a little a little something. You, know? yeah. you, you can't put your finger on, but there's something there. When we have, when we're up on the podium and we and we have an opportunity to talk, and I know you have your bike uh, very well displayed with your sponsors, what have you. But here's a chance for us to put into words those sponsors okay. and, how, and how important and what they do for you. Okay, we can start. But basically, it's not a sponsor. It's just my race, my uh, my site. So racingfield.com. This is where I put all the information of my races, uh, my sponsor as well, I give links to them, so that's kind of a, an opportunity for them to, uh, for all my sponsors to be seen. Uh, other than that, there's the uh, usual sponsor for the series that I, we want to thanks to, DinoJet and Bazaz. I'm actually running a uh, Bazaz this year, inside motorcycle also. Uh, I have uh, last suspension, so Alain Larouche that gave me a good uh, advice with suspension work, mm -hmm. trying to figure out how those things work. That's so important, it's kind of black racing. magic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Moto Pro Grammy that helped me with all the parts, uh, provide me all the my Kawasaki parts and all the aftermarket parts as well. Uh, big support from them. Uh, Moto Van also as well that gave me uh, the discount for uh, racers and I. Use pretty much all their product, as Bazaz or the Zox helmet. I got the the RX5 uh, gloves, the whole thing. Uh, and my friend, we don't see it much here, but uh, FC51 uh, Custom.com. They do custom paint for uh, Harley Davidson and stuff. Oh. This is for them really basic paint. They can do airbrush and stuff like that. It's a friend of mine that do that. So and I got the Patrice Goyette that uh, helped me with a oh, good mapping on that bike. Right on. But uh, basically. Uh, I'm uh, I'm my major sponsor. So right on. Well, hopefully CSBK TV. This interview that we're doing right now, Philippe, will also help to, to let those sponsors know that you appreciate yeah. what they're doing. Oh yeah, that's for sure. And really, you and I wouldn't be speaking if it wasn't for that. No, no, exactly. Yeah, I, I need those uh, people to help me a bit. You know, it's put a lot of my personal money into it, but for sure that that support really gives me that little edge or something that. I need to do, and especially now next year, if I if everything goes well and I and I turn pro, then it's gonna be uh, more and more of that. I would personally like to see you well do well today. Out there. Yeah, but more more importantly, <laughs> more importantly than that, I'd like to see you win the performer of the race award again. Yeah, but in a way, yes and no, because if I do a good start and I just pull out. I don't know if I'm gonna win it, That's but that, that would be nice too. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for we'll taking see. the time again. Thanks. Philippe. Great speaking with you and again. You. Have fun out there today. Okay. Thank you. Philippe Massé, the amateur 600 class, amateur sport bike class, if you will, presented here in Canada by Inside Motorcycles.